You know, there's a wild, uh, there's a pretty wild story I have about that. Cause I remember back in 2022, this was around, I think this was like Christmas day weekend or something like that. You know what I'm saying? This was Christmas day weekend. And I remember survival of the fittest. All right. I remember when I had to go to work and it was one Friday in Chicago and it was like really, really cold. Like it was negative three outside. I remember I had to take a break and go inside a Target, which is right down the street from the restaurant I worked. So actually this might be a how to get fired, how I got fired story. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Cause I got fired from that job the same day actually. Cause I remember I walked over there. <laughs> I walked over there. The supervisor pulled me aside and I have icicles on my mustache and such. It was cold. And my ears were like cold to the point where there was like where they were red and I got up in there and they told me that they had terminated me. And I was like, y'all gonna terminate me on the weekend of Christmas and on the fact that it's negative three degrees. Oh my God. That, that had to be one of the worst days of my life. I swear to goodness. Wow. 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 What? Yeah, man. Your boy had icicles growing out of my mustache, bro. I had icicles. I think I had icicles on my beard too. I remember it was like really, really cold. It was like negative three. Dude, you do not want that problem. You do not want that problem. You do not want that problem. Oh, oh! We just eliminated ourselves. Ain't that about a thing? Well, anyway, let me finish the story. So the week before I had a basketball game or actually we, we were at a classic. We were in uh, Quincy for a classic and I forgot to tell my work, my uh, the staff there that I wasn't going to be there. And this is the week before Christmas. So what ended up happening, I forgot to tell them that I wasn't going to be there Friday or Sunday because I was scheduled to work both of those days. And I, I think. I think I said something on a uh, Sunday actually that I wasn't going to be there. I come there Friday and Friday it was supposed to be cold. The wind chill was like negative 20 or 30 or something like that. And it was negative three degrees. I kid you not. I walked to work because that's what I would usually do. I would walk to work because my, my job is like a skip and a hop and it's damn near around the corner somewhere. Okay. So it was perfectly fine for me to walk. The only problem was it was negative three degrees. So I walked my tail out there and my hands were freezing cold. I almost had frostbite, huh? I was watching a short, can you please repeat it? No, all right. Uh, so what had happened was I was walking and like halfway through my walk, I started getting frostbite on my hands and my glasses were broken. And I think that was also the week I lost my phone. So a lot of things happened that, you know, it, it was just absolutely terrible. So actually I couldn't tell them. That's what that was. I lost my phone. I had icicles growing on my mustache and on my beard. And I think on my eyelashes too. Anywhere where I had hair, where there was sweat from me walking, cause I bundled up. Okay, I didn't just have a coat on. Okay, I had a jacket and I think I had like two coats on and I had some gloves and a hat and literally that did not stop the cold from seeping in. Okay, I got frostbite all around my mouth and my face, all types of stuff. I had to stop in a Target, which was right down the street from where I worked. And I swear to goodness, when I tell you I was over here doing this for the longest time, that's how cold it was. It was bad and mind you the walk wasn't that far okay like that walk looked like i was walking a mile okay i finally get to my job okay and my supervisor pulls me aside and she's talking about why i hadn't came and i did had, had, why i didn't come to work because she had or actually you know what she didn't schedule me that sunday actually because she knew i had a game i didn't know we were leaving a day early and that's what i told her and because I had too many absences and I was late one time, she fired me. All, all in good cause. You know what I'm saying? I know why I got fired, okay? And I completely understand. But man, 
This firing was definitely worse than any other job that I had that I got fired from. Listen. What? Well, dang. Well, congratulations, Sprinkles. Because here's the thing. Now, imagine me walking all the way to the place just to get fired. Chat, you can't make this up. You seriously cannot make this up. I walked all the way to that place and got fired. Then I had to walk back. I was only there like 20, maybe 30 minutes trying to warm up. Chat, you can't make that up. That has to be one of the worst firings I ever had in my life. It was terrible. Not only did I get fired, but I also had to walk in that freezing cold. I had to walk back. It was awful. I'm back. Wait, did you actually get fired from your job? This was a year ago. Okay. This was a year ago when I had a job at a restaurant. So this was like a year ago. So you ain't gotta worry about that. I mean, I've I mean I've always been tutoring up at the school and now I'm gonna be working as a as a library assistant. So that's what I'm doing now. But yeah, out of the multiple out of the jobs that I had, that was 100% one of the worst firings ever because not only did I go out there and walk in the freezing cold to get to work, I got fired that same day. So I had to walk all the way back in the freezing cold. It was freezing. Okay? I stopped back by that same Target. I'm over here doing this. Then I had to walk all the way back to my apartment building. Chat, you cannot make this up. You can't make this up. 